Let's go to Acts 2 and 38. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So what is this saying? The only way that God is going to forgive you, the only way that God is going to take away your sins, you have to repent of your sins. What is repentance? All you have to say is, God, please forgive me of all my sins. When you say that, but let me say this first. All you have to say is, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Please help me to be more obedient to you. When you say this, you have to be sincere when you say this. Does that make any sense? You have to be serious. You have to be sincere. If you are not sincere when you say this, then God is not going to forgive you of your sins. Because you are not serious. You are just speaking words. If you are premeditating on doing some type of sin, when you are considering repenting of your sins, then you are not serious about repenting. Because you are thinking about something evil that you are going to do after you repent of your sins. So you are not serious. When you repent of your sins, that means that you want to change, that you want to stop doing sins. Does that make any sense? Of course, you may make a mistake in the future. I am not saying that. People make mistakes, but when you premeditate on doing something wrong, that is different from making a mistake on accident or whatever. So even when you repent, you may make a mistake afterward, which I am not going to say that it is fine, but it is different from premeditating on doing something wrong. When you premeditate on doing something wrong, you are doing things on purpose, like knowingly. Give me a second, please. Okay. So where am I? So when you repent of your sins, be sincere when you say it. Don't play around. There is no point in playing around because you can die at any time. So from what this is saying, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So what this is saying, when you repent of your sins, you are going to receive the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is going to help you. The Holy Ghost, one of the many functions of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, He is our counselor. So, He is that voice that is in our conscience. Does that make any sense? <clears throat> Let me say this too. Demons can talk to our conscience as well. So you may ask, how do I know if it is a demon or the Holy Ghost speaking to my conscience? What is the message? What message is your conscience giving to you? giving to you what is it trying to say hmm what is it telling you to do say speak or whatever if it is telling you to do something evil then you know that it is a demon speaking to your conscience if it is telling you to do something good or something that is going to help you 
and help others, then you know that it is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, speaking to your conscience. For instance, let's say that it comes to your conscience to curse someone out. Then you know that it is a demonic spirit speaking to your conscience. Let's say that it comes to your mind to get into a fight with a person. Then you know that it is a demon speaking to your conscience. Let's say that it comes to your conscience to steal something. Then you know that it is a demon speaking to your conscience. Very simple. Okay. How do you know it is the Holy Spirit speaking to your conscience? Let's say it comes to your mind to do something good for a person, like cut their grass, shovel their snow, do some type of work for them for free or something like that, then you know that it is the Holy Spirit. If it comes to your mind to read your Bible right now or to pray right now, to do something that is going to help you and others out, it is the Holy Spirit. That should really make sense. So if it is something evil, it is a demonic spirit speaking to your conscience. If it is something good that is going to help you and others out, it is the Holy Spirit. So now you know who is speaking to you in your conscience. So if something comes to your conscience saying that you are ugly, you are stupid, you are fat, you are worthless, so on and so on, who is that speaking to your conscience? It is a demonic spirit. So why are you listening to a demonic spirit? That can't be a Holy Spirit. That can't be the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is not going to speak to you in that way. Only demonic spirits are going to put you down. The Holy Spirit is not going to put you down. Does that make any sense? So we have to know the difference between the Holy Spirit and a demonic spirit. So we can't continue to be fooled by demonic spirits. I really hope this makes sense. God bless.